brighter the lights, the better I look. I know a tiger bear. There are a lot of lights. Hello everyone, Anita here, and today I'm here with Tiger Bear. Hello. Well, I love you. Today, I am going to be... Excuse me, I need to really get it together. I'm gonna to be doing a Q&A video because I haven't done one in a while. If you wanna ask me a question, go to that hashtag, ask me whatever you want, because I will, I will answer it. Let's go ahead and get right into this shit, shall we? And if I massacre your name, I'm sorry. I am illiterate. This first question comes from Logan Battles. Hey, Logan. Hey Anita, if there's one thing you've always want in your life more than anything, but don't have it yet, what would it be and why? I would want immortality, but like vampire version where I just stay young-ish. And the reason why is because I would love to see like the future, you know? Like I'd love to see a hundred years from now and like where technology has gone and uh, you know if we get our flying cars ever like back to the future promised and the fifth element too actually and other than that a more realistic answer for you is to um, is to travel more that's something that I've always wanted to do because I just I love cultures and countries and anything different than my usual thing you know going on in life it's very fascinating to me so yeah I'd love to travel that's definitely something I want Next question from my friend Jose. Have you ever watched The Walking Dead or Fear of the Walking Dead? I have never watched Fear of the Walking Dead. I do really like The Walking Dead though, and I have not caught up yet on The Walking Dead, so I need to do that soon. This next question is from Carl. Can you rank your top five favorite Johnny Depp films? <sighs> oh boy. I'm gonna reserve this question for an entire video because sometimes when y'all come on here and you ask me questions, it spins off into its whole own video. So thank you for that. I will definitely make a video about my uh, my top five favorite Johnny Depp film. Next question is from Victor. Have you or are you going to watch the new It movie? I have actually watched the new It movie. I went with Greg and John and uh, Brian and we all saw it, although I did miss the beginning of it because I lost track of time a little bit. Next question is from my friend Brian. What's up, Brian? <laughs> what were some of your favorite shows slash cartoons growing up? I'm an 80s baby, so that means that y'all will probably not know any of these shows because I am literally the oldest person on YouTube. So like in the 80s, I used to watch um, Care Bears. I loved Care Bears. I absolutely loved Rainbow Bright. There was another one that I can't remember if this was the actual name, but it was called, I think, Rose Petals. And it was about like this garden that the roses and the flowers, they just came to life and they were like actual people. <laughs> and I also like watch shows with my brother as well because uh, when I was growing up I had an older brother and he would watch things like Voltron and Thundercats and like <laughs> He-Man and She-Ra and those were like so fun too. So I would watch all that stuff along with like my own special favorites that I had mentioned before. This next question is from Jose. Whatever happened to the guy peeping through your window? Okay. So, some of you may not know, I have a Twitch. It's twitch.tv forward slash Anita Star. You can follow it if you want. I don't really post very much on there. I play stuff really late at night sometimes and I'll just turn on Twitch randomly. It's not gonna be quality content because I'm super, I don't know anything about Twitch at all. Um, I literally just play a game, just a game, like a stupid sandbox game or something. And I just talk about things. And one of the things that I was talking about was this uh, this peeping Tom that I have here at my apartment. And this question, Jose, constitutes its own video. So I definitely have another video coming up for y'all. And if it's if you're watching this in the past, when it's already been out for a while, there's gonna be like cards coming up on the top whenever I talk about any of these things that I am supposed to be making. I'm gonna go back to this video and I'm gonna link those videos, you know, to make it easy on everyone. So yeah, that's a story time and that's definitely coming up. 
This next question comes from Raven Shadow. I have a challenge for you to do. The Nuclear Noodle Challenge. I don't know what the Nuclear Noodle Challenge is. Today we're going to do the Nuclear Noodle Challenge! <laughs> oh boy, that looks, that looks dangerous for me because I actually don't really like food too spicy. I don't, I don't actually do like challenge requests anymore because they kind of got out of hand a little bit. Um, and I kind of started doing that in the beginning of my YouTube channel career, if you want to call it that. It hasn't really, it hasn't really been a career <laughs> because I honestly needed content and I just wanted to make videos on YouTube. So I just looked up a bunch of challenges, started doing them, put them on my channel, and I let people request stuff. And I was getting a lot of foot fetish challenge. I have no problem at all with the fetish community or foot fetishes. I did a few of those challenges, which I totally am fine with because I don't really care. Like, be, I don't care if you like them or not. But to me, I wasn't even thinking like, this is a foot fetish challenge. It was just like, oh, this looks fun and I want to do it. So I did it. I didn't care if it like related to like the fetish community. So it's fine with me. If that's part of it, it's fine. I don't care. But it started getting out of hand to where those were becoming my most popular videos and that's all the requests I was getting. So I kind of just cut it off there. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, I don't just want to do this kind of video. I don't care, I don't care about doing them, but I don't want this to just be everything on my channel. This isn't the focus of my channel, my, there's a variety. I just didn't want to hone in on one particular genre of things, so. You know. But I have to say, uh, I will, I will, uh, I will accept this challenge. I said that with a squeak because I'm scared of this challenge, and that will, I will do that for you, Raven. Because why not? <laughs> this next question is from Victor. Superman or Batman? Who do you prefer? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Batman on that one. I've always, always loved Batman. I like Superman. Batman is my favorite superhero. This next question is from Fredo. The question that kills is what size matters? Ha ha ha. Mm. Are you asking me if size matters or what size matters? Say french fries for instance. Now if you know you go like large then I'm probably gonna feel really bad about myself after eating it so therefore that larger size would definitely not matter because that would just it would just make me feel bad and probably sick to my stomach a little bit because I don't really eat french fries very often. The medium size is just like it's perfect. It's in between small and large. It's not too big. It's not too small. The french fries, they're like just the right amount to fit in my stomach. It's not the small bag where you're just, get, you're just not getting enough to really fulfill your needs, like fill you up. You know, but like, you know, the medium is just, you know, it's perfect. It's just what you need. It's delicious. There's enough french fries where you're satisfied. There's not too many where you're just, you know, you're gonna feel sick about it or it's not gonna hurt your stomach in any way. So I would say, you know, for that, that for instance, I would say you'd have to go medium for french fries. Yeah. This next question is from Fredo. Do you like massages? If yes, head, hands, back. I'm not like super into massages. I know a lot of people are because I'm a weirdo and sometimes I just don't like to be touched. But I will say that I've always liked like head massages or somebody playing with my hair or I just can't escape it, can I? I like a good foot massage. When I get pedicures, I get a foot massage with it, okay? Just leave me alone, you know? And no, I will not let any of you massage my feet. Sorry. <laughs> Next question. Been a huge fan for a while, and my question is, what are your top five favorite hobbies you love doing on your downtime? Um, five hobbies that I love doing. I'm not gonna do this in order, I'm just gonna do this as they come into my mind. Creating videos, obviously I love creative content and putting it up online. I actually really love to color in adult coloring books. Collecting crystals, I love minerals, crystals, gems. I do love playing video games. I don't know if this constitutes as a hobby per se, but something that I really enjoy doing that takes up a lot of my personal time 
is I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Specifically, drama videos. It is a guilty pleasure. I just watch all of the drama on YouTube. I know everything that's going on in the community. I, when I started this channel, I had no idea about anything, anything about YouTube at all. But now, I can literally create a series called YouTubers for Dummies because I feel like I am the dummy and I learned by watching all this stuff and I can just compile a bunch of video clips and talk about specific YouTubers for people who have no idea who they are. I am one of you. I am subscribed to a lot of YouTubes. <laughs> Like, I just never incorporate that in any of my videos because I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten brave enough to start talking about the community. Because I love pretty much everyone, and I know people hate certain YouTubers for certain things, but I actually love content creators. I, 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 I like that there's something about each of them that I like. And there's people that hate those people sometimes, or really love them, whatever. So I'm probably gonna be, you know, chastised a little bit for, you know, liking content creators. Whatever beef they have with other content creators has nothing to do with me. I, as of now, have no problem with anybody in the community. I don't even feel like I qualified to be considered part of the community. I rationally cannot hate on any other content creator because I feel like we're all in this together and they've been doing it a lot longer than me, and there's a lot of things about me that aren't cool, so, so who am I to judge them for any little mistake they've made? I don't like to judge people by one little mistake and then just hate them for it, or a couple of mistakes. We're all human, we all make mistakes, none of us are perfect. Even if we try to fake it on video, we are not perfect. But if I disagree with something, I disagree with it. It's not gonna make me, you know, hate someone because they have a difference of opinion than me. That's dumbest thing ever, so yeah. This next question is from Brian. You've sent me this question twice. Hey, you know, you gotta give me a little time to make the video. All right, so you need to be patient, okay? Hold your horses, okay? Once a week, you know? Professional content creator, y'all. <laughs> all right, that's gonna do it for this video. I didn't get to all of the questions in the hashtag, but I see them all and I do screenshot them for my videos, so keep asking them. And thank you to everyone who uh, participated and asked a question. Y'all are awesome, seriously. You're helping me create content for my channel, and I appreciate that. Make sure you click that notification bell on my channel because I've had a lot of problems with people not seeing my videos because apparently the internet doesn't care for me very much, so get the notifications by clicking the bell so you'll know when I upload. I will see you later, Stargazer. Bye! Come on now.